Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's Chaos, and I'm back with another Steam Next Fest demo. This time we're doing Life Not Supported. Life Support, Life Not Supported is a space survival game. It says specifically, not a space simulator set in orbit of a faraway planet. A possible new location for civilization. Disaster struck of unknown origin, and you are the lone survivor tethered to what is left of your ship. Gather nearby debris and scramble together a new vessel with your trusty roll of duct tape in an attempt to survive the harsh realities of space. Maybe then you'll live long enough to uncover the truth behind the ship's malfunction. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, you can see Next Fest is coming to an end pretty soon because this game launches in early access. As they say, a minute after Next Fest ends. So yeah, it got 18 hours for Next Fest to end. But yeah, we're gonna jump in here, go into single player and give this game a try. It's got beautiful music. Like, uh, we'll call the save next fast demo. Start game. All right. So it says I'm tethered. Oh, look at that. We got to collect our crowbar. All right. Let's go find some duct tape. It doesn't seem like I'm actually tethered. Whoa, 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 Okay, I went down. I would like to come down now. Um, how do I come down? <laughs> okay, um, controls. Move down is left control. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so definitely not tethered. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, use crowbar to dislodge. Okay, we're still looking for duct tape. Let's see, let's look for the duct tape. Whoa, 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 whoa. easy, easy. Hold on, where's the duct tape at? Oh boy, okay. Oh, okay. Oh God, you know what? I was looking at it. Let's go ahead and dislodge that, collect an air tank, pick up some more duct tape. You see, no, 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 stop. Oh gosh, they're junk. Whew. Come on, I want to get this canister if I can. It looks like it's blowing out what it has. Oh, okay. All right. So collect 12 scrap nearby. Do I just have to fly to it? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, so I can cannibalize the broken parts of the ship here. Okay. All right. I see you, game. Scrap metal. You're not gonna let me cannibalize that? Okay. Easy. Oh my gosh. Oof. Man. The jetpack is quite the jump. <laughs> okay, can't cannibalize the cabling. Can't cannibalize that. Can I cannibalize these? No. Okay. Nope. Can't do that either. Alright. Okay. I guess I'm just stuck to breaking down panels. Oh, it looks like there's more of the ship below me. All right, all right. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, all right. Ooh, okay, that's spooky. <laughs> Use duct tape and place a makeshift platform. All right. Open build menu. Makeshift platform. Too close to another ship. What? Why would I want to separate myself from my space hulk? What? 
Okay, so you're not actually tethered in the slightest. Okay. Place and build a crafting table, which I need more scrap for. Okay, all right, all right. Oof. I would like to be able to cannibalize more of the ship. Because if you're not going to let me attach my building to the ship, then let me cannibalize the entire ship. You know what I mean? Oof. Okay. Easy. Looks like there's some more stuff below me. Oh, oh, oh. Scrap, scrap metal. This is really cool, though. Like, this is very cool. I gotta keep an eye on that oxygen, because I'm using my oxygen, it looks like, to fly. Can I cannibalize this down here? Oh, okay, that's moving. Alright, can't land on that. Nope. I'll pick up electricals, okay. All right. Okay, so it's giving me a beacon for this being home, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. So we need to make a crafting table. Okay, and I can rotate with the mouse wheel. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. The UI is a little hard to read. I'm just going to say that as far as, like, potential feedback, it's a little hard to read. Like, that's very dark. Like, I have to hover over to see what it is. And that's a crafted torch. Place and build a disposable air thruster. Ow. This is still weird because I'm not actually tethered. Like, I mean, look around. There's, there's no tether for me being tethered to this. So, disposable air thruster. Okay. Place and build a short ranged beacon. Short range beacon. I need to go find a battery. Okay. So, let's go find a battery. Apparently, you collect your own poop. <laughs> Let's see, can I like collect oxygen from this thing that's spurting down here? No. Well, that's problematic. Because uh, I'm almost out of oxygen. So, shite. All right, okay. Um, let's go this way. Try to get to that. I'm about to die, aren't I? Oh yeah. Okay. See. Yep. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. There we go. That's.
that's a problem. <laughs> okay, yeah, so oxygen is how I fuel my jetpack. So uh, let's go ahead and wind that back a little bit. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Um, is there a restart button anywhere, or do I have to go all the way back? Looks like I have to go all the way back to the main menu. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and I had to start a new save file. And I'm being a little bit more careful with how much I engage my thruster here. And at least about as careful as you can be, considering I need to use the oxygen to fly. <laughs> Drop this panel right here. I see extra bottles out here. But it's a matter of I need to be able to get to them, and I think that's what I need to build the ship part for first. So we got we got all of our scrap metal. So let's go ahead and build a new platform. Is this ice? Yeah, grab ice. Okay. So that's gonna be handling how I handle handle thirst. Okay. Just gonna put the crafting table down. Okay, easy, 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 easy. Go. Oh boy. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. So we. I still didn't find a battery. Not sure where to find a battery. What crap is it? Is it back in the corner? Let's see here. Crafted torch, SIP container. Cook potato, raw potato, rehydrated bean curry. Okay, no. Not something I can craft like that. Basic ice melter. Hi. I uh, will say another thing as far as potential feedback. Make this a tabular thing. Like, make these different categories tabular, like a survival tab and a crafting and refining tab. You know, like basic stuff like that. It's really irritating to scroll through that. So. Oh, nope. That's not what I was trying to do. Okay, so we need to find a battery still. Pick up electricals. No battery here. This is problematic. I think I see another oxygen tank. Yes, I do. Come here, friendo. Okay, there we go. Now we got a backup air tank. <laughs> so we can live. Which, I mean, to be fair, I was alive in the last save. But, uh, you know, I was just kind of stuck. Drifting forever. Can't do anything to that. Oh, another air tank. I'm hoping one of these has a battery on it, too. But it doesn't look like it does. All right, let's consume that. Grab a glass pane, grab scrap metal. Grab scrap metal. We're just going to grab as many resources as we can as we're looking for a battery. So. Glad my Steam notifications are not showing up because somebody can't actually stay loaded into a game. Thank you. 
This looks like it might have something important. I'm just gonna burst it, like, just let the drift happen. He's so... Ooh, grab scrap dish. Okay, alright. Okay. Didn't give me a battery, unfortunately. How am I supposed to get a battery? <laughs> this is kind of tough. So I'm 130 meters away from the, well, remains of my ship. Still no battery. This is very awkward. Huh. Okay. Yeah. There's air tank while we're here. Might as well. It looks like stuff stacks in 16s, so that's all right. Okay, all right. I could use more more music, you know. That's another scrap dish over there, it looks like. Having inertial dampeners is weird. Like, I'm drifting through space. Electricals. Oh, speaking of music, there we go. I understand you don't want your player to, like, be able to just float away forever, you know what I mean? But it's very weird that I don't maintain thrust for very long. Like, I'd like to be able to turn that off. Something like Space Engineer style. Where if I need to drift, I can just tap and drift for a while. And not burn my oxygen up constantly thrusting. Oh, 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 that looks like a battery. That looks like a battery. Yes! Okay, where's home? There's home. Just gonna burn our oxygen here. They have plenty of tanks at the moment. What is that? That is a box of some sort. Open container. Oh, dehydrated food and electricals. Nice. Okay, need to consume some oxygen. Okay, so one of those tanks is only 75. Okay. That is good to know. So this is where I started building the ship at. Let's just come over here and land. There we go. So now we're going to... Oh, okay. Oh, do 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 do. Okay, so you can do... Okay, alright, okay. Okay, 
right, there's our thruster. And I guess we'll build our beacon. Okay, it can be detected from up to 150 meters away. So that must be the same thing the remains of my ship has, too. Okay. Interesting. Use crafting table and craft a sip container. Sip container. Okay. Craft. Place and build ice melter. So I gotta find another battery now. Yeah, the UI is very difficult to see. Like, I can't tell until I hover over something, like just how many tabs of inventory I have. Which is a little awkward. And this not being movable is a little tedious as well. Although I'm still having fun. Like, I just, these are just perfectly fair criticisms of a concept. So, you know, I just want to be... I want to be completely fair to the game, you know, it's like, hey, uh, this is, a lot of this is survival game 101, if you know what I mean. Okay, so let's go find a battery, I guess. How many oxygen tanks? Yeah, I got plenty of tanks left. Um, let's go ahead and build a storage container, I guess. Small material holder? Yeah. Okay, well, that takes care of some of my scrap metal in my inventory. Bring that right here. We'll put the electricals up in here. Okay, so that is for okay consume consumption of stuff. Okay, let me go find a battery. Another one. I've already broken this. Yeah, okay. Let's drift our way down here, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a battery right there. Yep, that is a battery. Now that I know what they look like, it's like, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> So it's safe to use the oxygen tanks right about 25% of my oxygen because they only fill up 75. Grabbing all these oxygen tanks that I can. Good glass of tank. I should probably grab up ice too. Yeah, I'm still not a fan of the fact that I can't turn off like the inertial dampeners that slow me back down. I feel like it's a forced bit of, okay, we're going to make you use more oxygen because we inherently slow you down. something I have like optional like actual control of it's just it just happens okay let's go ahead and insert ice and I guess we just let it melt insert sip there we go okay um how long does that take <laughs> indicator please um life not life not supportive folks indicator that tells me how long it's supposed to take be very much appreciated
I mean, it gives me a sense to get a chance to take a drink, but you know, like, okay. Okay, so with a sip of water and like a various things here, so dehydrated food, if I take the sip of water, I can make rehydrated green bean curry, which is interesting. A dubious hydroponic solution. Okay, so is it good? Oh, no, it looks like it's draining now. Okay, so maybe you don't necessarily need an indicator. It's still a little jarring, but... Okay, so that's just one ice got me one fill. Okay. So I think I need to... Yeah, okay. So I have no control over the thrust. Oh! My ship does not have inertial dampeners. That's interesting. Okay. I'm um, a little awkward. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Oh, no, it does. Okay. It's just a lot more of them. No, nope, never mind. It does not. Okay, there we go. We managed to stop. So that's cool. Alright. Um Is that as is that as much as it's going to tell me how to do now? Okay. Alright, let's see. Can we build another platform? Not out of resources. Plenty of scrap metal. <laughs> Oh no, see, we didn't even completely stop on the ship. Alright. That's okay. Alright. I don't know if these need to be refilled or not. Once again, there's no indication to tell me that they need to be refilled. So it's a tad bit awkward. Hey. Okay, so... I need another battery if I want to do a basic hydroponic garden. Okay. An anchor for my tether. Which I don't have a tether. I guess I understand the concept of the game says I am tethered to my ship. Or to the remains of my, you know, actual ship that brought me here. But I'm not. Okay, so there we go. Alright, so... Okay, so I can retract my tether that way. Okay, so that will actually help as far as, like, getting back. Which is very nice. Okay, so that sound is the retraction of my tether. Okay. I'm in scrap metal. I have no idea how long of a tether I have. Okay, that's that's the length of my tether. <laughs> Just out of reach of grabbing that ice. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. I do have to fight inertia too. Interesting. Oh, that looks like another battery. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, cool. 
that's all right. That's that's neat. I like the tether once I actually have a tether. <laughs> I'd also like to be able to move these. I'm assuming I can dislodge them, but that doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, well, I feel like I've reached the end of what the game's going to tell me how to do at this point. So at this point, it's just go, go collect and keep building. So, okay. Back into ship computers to learn more blueprints. Interesting, okay. Okay, so I guess I'll go ahead and build a hydroponic garden just so I can see how it works. Oh, I need to make a torch. Let's go make a torch. Requires hydroponic solution. So that is the dubious hydroponic solution that I make with my poop and some water. Requires a valid seed. So, okay. How do I find a seed? Is it just supposed to be somewhere out here? I pooped again. <laughs> What else can we make? An airlocked oven. I don't have any food. Okay. I mean, I like where the game is going. Um, a little bit more to the demo probably would have been nice. And maybe a little bit more direction of things, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, um, that's about 30-ish minutes of Life Not Supported. Uh, it is dropping into early access about a minute after the Steam Next Fest ends, which will probably be before this video comes out. But, yeah, check this out. Um, I look forward to see what they do with early access. It definitely needs some quality of life features. But it's got potential to be a pretty cool space survival game. And those are something that's honestly very sorely needed. Like, we don't have any good space games these days except for space engineers. And that's really it. So pretty much everything else space has pretty much died as far as space survival and space building. So yeah, this game has very good potential and it's got some pretty big shoes to fill. So this is Chaos. And I'm signing off.